The city of San Diego is drawing up a plan to build more housing in University City. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten Holmes. Steve Price has the night off. The University Community Plan update would build more high-density units. Supporters say the plan will help fix the housing crisis. As CBS 8's Rocia De La Fe reports, the plan faces significant community opposition. Supporters of the city's plan and those opposed to it held separate rallies today in University City. Those in favor say the city is facing a housing crisis and this is one way to tackle the issue. Meanwhile, those against the new development say the plan is not reasonable for their community. Protesters are pushing back against the city of San Diego's plan to build more housing. Well, it's just the enormity of the density that they're proposing. The city's original proposal called for as many as 56,000 housing units. The updated community plan would add between 30 to 35,000 units. Those against the plan say it would increase the city's population exponentially, compromise critical infrastructure, and worsen traffic and parking in the area. The problems we're going to have is there's, they don't want to put any parking in for the new people. There's no infrastructure. We've got limited schools, um, power and water are two other big things that, how is that all going to be answered? The long-term development plan aims to double the number of jobs in the city's top employment center. The majority of the high-density housing would be near the UTC Transit Center. Many against it call the city's plan unreasonable. We're not against reasonable development. We just don't want multi-story, multi-unit two property, you know, of two of those on the same property. But those who support the plan say more large scale development is needed to address the housing crisis. University City is a major employment center and we want to give people the opportunity to live near where they work. By doing so, we're reducing their commutes, which is improving their quality of life. It's improving equity so that everyone of all income levels can afford to live near their workplace. Rachel Graham with the nonprofit Our Time to Act United addressed concerns over the traffic gridlock the new development could cause. We just completed construction of the Blue Line trolley extension and that's seen immense ridership. So people's opportunity to get in and out of University City and within University City is greater than ever. She says increasing public transportation is one way the city can take steps to address the climate crisis and adds that the plan would also create more affordable housing options. But those against the plan say the new housing would be anything but affordable. It's not affordable. Trust me, it's not. You know, they have to put in a very small number of units at low rates and the rest is be market rate. It's outrageous. I mean, they say an affordable housing, one of the quotes we saw was 600 square feet $3,300 a month. That's not affordable. The plan is set to be finalized later this year. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8.